Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another magical show. Let's see, how is everyone doing tonight? I know it's like, what, we're on, well, at least here in Seattle, Washington, we're almost at two months of coronavirus lockdown, where we're all told to self-isolate and all that. Let's see, who's on tonight? I see Botanical Keyboards, thanks for joining in. Duncan Yo-Yo, and quite a few other. Thanks, guys, for all your support. Thanks for joining in. See, tonight, if it's your first time here, Tuesday evenings are when I do a bit of programming, in which I port a keyboard into QMK or take a board currently in QMK and add VIA support to it. Tonight, we'll be doing more of the same. And as you can undoubtedly tell from the stream title, we're doing two keyboards. Two keyboards tonight. But before that, we'll talk about the most important part of the stream. Tonight's drink is a drink you have seen before. One that I have fallen in love with. Mead from Author Mead Company. This is my fourth can and the, my, my last can. So I've been savoring it the last couple of weeks. This this came as a shocker to me. I never, I never expected mead to actually taste this good. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking tonight. No, no port tonight, and no rosé, just mead. Figure I'll drink what I have left before I go out and buy other stuff. There we go. You guys haven't heard of Author Mead Company. They're located here in Seattle, Washington, actually. Maybe not Seattle, but Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington is just about, what, 10, 15 minutes north of Portland, Oregon, all in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff here. Very good stuff. And hold on a second. I'm seeing that my little image isn't really showing up here. Boom. There we go. Ooh, Olivia, thanks for joining in. Well, I read this is another via stream. Are you drinking wine from a can? I'm drinking mead, actually. It's just fancier if I drink it from a from from like an actual wine glass. <laughs> Olivia says, "You you heathen." Well, here let's let's make it fancier. Let let's just make it fancier. Here we go. Boom. Let's play some jazzy music. Amtro time, thanks for joining in. Drashna, thanks for joining in. All right, let's talk a little bit about what I'm doing tonight before I actually do it. I'm porting two smaller boards into VIA and into QMK. The first is the Portland Keyboard Club PDX KBC Macro Pad. I've already put the QMK firmware part of it in, but I guess I've just been lazy haven't done the via part. Well, I've done the via part, just um, it's on a different computer, which and I can't seem to find the work that I did there. <laughs> I never pushed it to my repo, so I'm like, eh, it's a small enough board, and it's only the via portion, so I can do it really quick. Yeah, if you guys want to check out this board, you can go to mountainblocks.com. He sells it for about 16 bucks, and he's quite a few of them. I believe it comes with a Pro Micro as well. The reason why it's got a rose on the back here is because Portland is the city of roses. Here, let's let me show you guys really quick. Here we go. Uh, mum, mum, mum. Here we go. There we go. PDX KBC Macro Pad Kit. Looks like it comes with a Pro Micro and Hutter, six diodes, brass or black nylon M3 hardware, and four clear bump ons. That is all the stuff you'll get. All that good stuff. And last, let's see. Apparently, $2 of every kit sold will go to support the Portland Keyboard Club. So if you would like to support a growing local community, definitely check out this kit. Also, the other board that I'll be doing tonight 
Who's this little guy right here? There are this. So this was sent to me by Mr. Botanical Keyboards, who's up in chat right now. Mr. Botanical Keyboards is setting up a new store called Botanical Keyboards. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let's give you guys a better look at what this kit looks like. Here we go. Actually, let's look at the photos. The finished kit will look like this. It's basically a one key, a one switch keyboard, and it's for a 2U keycap. And this board is called the FM2U. I was actually wondering what it meant. So after a brief discussion with Botanical Keyboard, he's like, FM2U stands for from me to you, which is why there's a cute little heart there. Looks like the boards come in either red, white, or black. Look at all that. It's pretty cute. Botanical, do you have any idea of how much you're planning on selling these yet? Or have you not decided Drashna says, shame it's not an ISO key. Oh boy. Botanical says, 20 bucks. And if I'm not mistaken, you are located here in the United States, right? And for those of you wondering, and in fact, I asked this question just before the stream. I'm like, Botanical Keyboards, do you happen to be the person behind GMK Botanical? And the answer is no. So I'm like, shoots. <laughs> but it would have been cool if he was. All right. Yeah. So here we go. Let's let's start with this guy right here, the Portland Keyboard Club one. Mm, I've yet to build mine. You guys have been paying attention to my previous streams. I've been all about the macro pads lately. I built this guy. Let's see, where's my other ones? Got a few others just sitting around. Here's another one. Here's another one. Let's see. I swear there's another one sitting around. Uh, can't find it, but I. I have like three different kinds of macro pads. Guess one day I should build one of these. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I, I might add, if you guys ever do visit the Portland Keyboard Club, they like to hold their meetings at a local bar. And of course, because of coronavirus, those meetings have been postponed. But if you guys ever do visit, um, they do give these away. In fact, the reason why I have the plate, the back plate, and the PCB is because this is what they're giving out. No diodes, no pro micros, no nothing, just these two. They usually have quite a stack of them at the meetups, so definitely go and check them out. All right. All right, before I start, on Tuesdays, I like to show off stuff that I've been getting in the mail. And it's been, it's been three weeks since I've gotten anything in the mail because everything is so slow. But today, just today, I finally, finally got something keyboard related. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's from Project Keyboard. So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely keyboard related. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. What what could this be? What could this keyboard related item from Project Keyboards be? Yeah, in case, in case you guys were wondering, I finally built my TGR Jane V2. Check out the build stream. 
And uh, I finally got Via on the TGR Jane V2 as well. This is for everyone who, who got the Boot Mapper Client Edition. You can now use Via on those boards. So if you are fortunate enough to have one, try it out and let me know what you think. I believe it is one of the first Boot Mapper Client boards that have ever been converted into Via. I think we have officially killed Boot Mapper Client. So I, I have an idea of what this is, but I'm not 100% sure. the opening. Right. He really tapes these things up really well. Yeah. It's also really, really light, so it's not Chances are it's not an actual keyboard, but maybe something related to a keyboard like a PCV. Speak easy, my. I would say Via is the next best thing since sliced bread. Did you hear that, Olivia? People really like all the stuff that you've worked on. enough about it. There we go. Hmm. Looks like a keyboard. <laughs> Looks like a keyboard. What could it be from Project Keyboard? That is a very fancy cable. Ooh, very nice. And of course, it is exactly what I thought it would be. It is a PCB. And what kind of PCB? Uh... It's a TKL. The only TKL on Project Keyboard is the Kepler. I believe this is a Kepler. Josh Ness has also shock. Merlin getting a keyboard. <laughs> well, that's one PCV. What's this one? What is this other one? Maybe it's just two of the same PCVs in case I mess things up. Yeah, it looks like it's two of the same PCVs. And there's some... Is this another PCB? No, it's not. It's just ESD. It's just an ESD packet. Okay. Not bad. Cool. Let's see. This is... Alright. Okay. So he probably sent me the cable because this requires a daughter board of sorts. Does the cable... Yes, it does got a JST connector on the end so I'll be using this is the only way I can use this keyboard see it's got a reset button it's got a reset button and a toggle switch for bootloader mode very nice signature 87 rev 1 Signature 87, is that, is, I wonder if that's what he's calling his TKL based boards, even though the board is a Kepler. Or perhaps this is another upcoming board. Who knows? Who knows? 
Let's see. What's what's special about this board? What's the microcontroller? The microcontroller is a Ooh, it's an ARM chip. It's an STM thirty two F zero zero seven two. 072 CB CB something can't read the rest with the same chip here STM 3207 072 cool let's see I wonder if there is ESD protection on this board looks looks like there is guys yeah, there's something here that looks like an ESD protection chip. Alright, if only my eyes were sharp enough, I could confirm that. But yeah, looks like there is one. I guess this means I'm porting this next week. <laughs> I will have to read up on it though. We'll have to read up. Okay. But let, let me just tear open this package so I can use the ESC protection sleeves. Did anyone on stream get a Kepler? I believe this is the PCB for it. Unless there was a board called a Signature 87. Let's see, who's saying this? Olivia says, thank you for allowing Via to be amazing. And Drakna says, Olivia, thank you for making QMK even more awesome and also lowering the bar for usage. All right, here's one. And here's two, all right. So it's always nice seeing more arm boards into our community. Arm boards with daughter boards and and ESD protection. There we go. There we go. Sent me two PCBs. Maybe he thinks I'll like screw up one. I'll like brick one and I'll need a second one just to survive. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how things go. Just tune in next week. Tune in next week to see if I, if I brick this board or not. All right. Epid subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Of Sam says, thank you for making changes easy for idiots like Arrow. <laughs> All right, okay, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna start with the PDX. PDX KBC. All right, let's, let's do that. Let me set up this, the stream. This board is really only one layout, so I can probably do that super quick, super easy. Num, 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 num. There we go. That looks good. That looks very good. All right. Boom. Boom diggity. All right. So as I said earlier, the firmware is actually already done. You already have a VIA key map, you got all that good stuff already. Uh, we even have an appropriate vendor and product ID, all that is good. So all we need to do is just do the VIA side of things, which starts off at the keyboard layout editor. George says, are you using a real Mac or a Hackintosh? My main computer is a Hackintosh, but I do have a MacBook and several Mac minis sitting around. Just that my Hackintosh is still faster than any of my real Macs. <laughs> it is also the most outdated Mac that I have because, you know, once you get a Hackintosh running, you kind of just want to leave it like that. 
Drashna is using a Mac as well. A Hackintosh. Hackintosh is fastest Mac, but also the most outdated. All right, let's see here. So, hmm. Okay, actually, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, we are gonna do mountain box. Let me take a look at this board really quick. Okay, so we're looking at this right now and the USB port comes off on the side. So maybe you're required to use a right angled USB port on this because the logo is, is here on the bottom, PDX KBC. So maybe we should just keep it vertical. Olivia says, I thought you used Linux Drashna for some reason. No, Drashna uses Windows and Mac OS. I use Mac OS and Linux. <laughs> it's been a while since I've touched a Windows machine. Though, um, in order to play Valorant and a couple games that I've been eyeing, um, I think I actually need to get my Windows box up and running again. My Windows box is from, oh gosh, I think from like 2010 or so. I think it runs a Core 2 Duo. I'm def definitely going to have to get a better graphics card if, if I want to do any kind of gaming. All right, okay, let's get going here. So the way you want to do this is, let's see. You want to look at your pdxkbc.h file like so, and you basically just want to, to copy the physical layout, which is the top half of the layout macro, onto the KLE. So just to make things easy, I'll just set it up first, like so. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a quick one. Duncan Yoyo says, why not just add another hard drive and boot Windows on your Hackintosh? I did that for the longest time. But um, when I switched out hardware, Windows didn't like it anymore. It kept complaining that I used like a different motherboard, so now I couldn't boot Windows anymore. So I was like, well, well that sucks. <laughs> Olivia says, is this a VIA speedrun? Uh, the last time I attempted that, I made so many mistakes. But let's see, this is a very straightforward board. Let me just do one. One and one, and I think I'm done. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, let's. Uh... Wow, yeah, that's probably like the fastest <laughs> KLE that I've ever done for Via. Let's see, let's do that. Let's download the JSON file. Perfect. All right. I no longer need the QMK firmware folder opened up. Let's open up something else. Oh, Olivia, I saw that you guys finally merged in Martin Watt's Wastat stuff. Since he've, he's developed a love of Via recently, huh?
All right, all right, here we go. Got that set up. All right, I'm now in the Via repo. Completely different repo than QMK. We want to throw this into the source directory and into other. Let's do this. PDX KVC. It's calling it PDX KVC macropad dot JSON. There we go. Perfect. Olivia says, yep, I'm so glad that he loves Via now. <laughs> Via has come a long way. Let's say, okay. So what I usually do here is I borrow, borrow from something like the DZ60, or actually let's do something that I did. What did I do here? I did KBD fan stuff. Let's do, yeah, let's do this guy. Mm -mm -mm. Copy paste it all. Promise I'll explain more of what I'm doing when I do the other board, but for the time being, we're just gonna go through this fairly quick. Like all I'm doing right now is following the documentation on can I use via. George says, I used to be 100% QMK CLI only, editing key maps in Vim. Then I tried VIA when I moved to Windows. While I am actually actively trying to change all my boards to VIA, um, I still greatly rely on, on QMK simply for the user map settings. A lot of my boards have the same layout and it's quite tedious to have to flash all of them with VIA and change key maps strictly through VIA. So one thing that I need to do as a, as a to-do, maybe something that I'll use, that I'll do maybe on Sundays, I'll, I'll have to change my user space to, to be more VIA friendly. Just cause adding macros off the bat, that is probably, that is the best user experience I've ever had. Like I can make a, I can write a macro really, really quick, but you know, it's, it's still coding. Whereas for VIA, all you do is you bring up that application, you go to the macro tab, write your macro, do the, set your macro to like whatever key you want and you, and it's done, it's done. Here, all right, what do I need? What do I need here? Five zero four four. Okay, that is the vendor ID, and it says oh 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 one. Does this have any backlighting on it? No, nothing, nothing at all. I have to, I have to refer back to the documentation because I always forget what the what the lighting stuff is. Okay, it's just lighting none. It's not QMK none, it's not backlight none, it's literally none. And the rows are three, and the columns are two. There we go. Okay, now let's go back, keyboard layout editor. Download that JSON. Easy peasy. Boom. Okay. Let's actually double check that this works. Let's open up via. 
Mm. Boom. All right, we're done. We're done. <laughs> That's probably the fastest via support that I've done. Speak easy, my says. Quick, quick question. Where in via can I adjust screen brightness? The KC brightness up and down. Uh, let's screen brightness. I think that might be OS specific. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Special. Yeah, I think that might be OS specific. There's an any key in special. Oh yeah, you're right. Any, right there. So you go to special and any. I've never tried it either. All right, looks like we're good. We have Finally have via support for the PDX KVC. <laughs> so I kind of cheated here. I've actually already written this support. I've basically just redid what I did two months ago. I've had the Portland crew check out, check this out. Basically they're just loading it exactly the way I did it by going through the design tab and clicking load. And it's been working out for them. But this time I don't want them to have to worry, worry about that at all. There are a bunch of new people who joined that group, so it would just be great if their boards could just be flashed with, with the VIA enabled firmware. All they would have to do is download VIA, plug their board in, and boom, they'd be done. L let me just push this to my branch. go updates were rejected because the tip of your current branch is behind what really i thought i just fixed all that earlier did something change while i was let me see what's new here Nope, nothing, nothing looks new. There, let's try that. Okay, I see what happened. There we go, perfect. George says, GitHub desktop installed. Time to figure out how to actually use it. Even when I was on Linux, all I used was git pull. Um, it would behoove you to know how to use like the git commands, just because I think if you know how, if you know how to use, use all of the git commands, you tend to have a better understanding of how git works. See, back when I was an Android developer, I, I used to just use like the built-in Eclipse Git stuff. And while that worked for me, I didn't really understand Git until I actually had to use a terminal. Zark says, do you know all the Git commands? No, I don't. Um, I used to have a cup at work that had all the Git commands on it, which I would always reference. <laughs> all right. We are done with this. Let me just here. Why don't why don't I just file the pull request while I'm at it so I don't forget? There we go. Keyboards. There it is. Compare and pull request. 
Olivia says, oh my god, I hate Android development so much when Kotlin wasn't a thing. Yeah. Yeah, Kotlin has made things very, very easy. Alright. Describe your changes here. Add added via support for the Portland Keyboard Club. PDX KBC Macropad. A pro micro driven two by three keypad. Okay. Not tested not tested by me personally, but by various members of the PDX. KBC crew who have confirmed working. There we go. Create pull request. Wilbo says, I don't need a backstory. Would you like me to tell you about the history of the Portland Keyboard Club? <laughs> this isn't a key. <laughs> Hey man, I oh I've noticed that your checklist has grown. The vendor ID is not feed. Good one, good one. <laughs> this this isn't a key set I see. Do I need to gather interest before I f fall aboard into the in, into the via repo? <laughs> I love the last one. The vendor ID is not feed. Hasupad, Latin pad via when? The Hasupad? I've never even heard of that board. Is that, is that a real thing? Hasupad? Hasupad keyboard. Huh, I'm not getting any hits. Hits on the Google. He doesn't know. He doesn't review PRs. Oh, really? It's in PR. Interesting. <laughs> Here. Let me look. Hasupad. Oh, I see the Latin pad and the Hasupad. Six days ago. Here, this is what I'm looking at, guys. I see a Hasu Pad 2 and a Latin Pad. The original Hasu Pad renamed Latin Pad. Why did he rename it? <laughs> Interesting. All right. All right, next up, next up, we are going to do this guy right here. This is the FM2U, which I spoke about earlier. FM2U stands for From Me To You, courtesy of Botanical Keyboards. He will be selling these kits for about 20 bucks. He is located here in the United States. Um, let, let me actually link up some of that information so for those of you interested show your interest here we go boom boom diggity and if you want to see photos of the finished product check this out here we go look at all that no this is only one one switch. I can probably build it tonight, too. You know what? Let's just build it. Let's just build it. It's always more fun to test it on an actual built board. Let's just build this guy. Can't be that hard, right? <laughs> build stream. It's turning into a build stream. Oh, man. Such tap dance possibilities. Trace of base says, ooh, nice TGR. Thank you. I just built it this weekend. It is my first TKL. Look at that. Look at that. Trace of base. Thanks for following. Look at that. The cute tiny guy right there. 
one key and it uses an what microcontroller is this at mega 32 u2 very nice it's got a little reset button right here and it even has stabilizer stuff oh look that's so cute i just realized it it says from <laughs> I wonder if you can actually write, write on it. <laughs> 17 Raiders from Plume Keyboards. Thank you, man. Trace of Bass says, Wifey hinted at getting me a 7V for my 30th birthday. Ooh. Wilbo says, just copy paste ISO. <laughs> this is really cute. Um, what, what kind of pen do you need to have in order to write on FR4? Can it just be like a regular Sharpie? <laughs> this is so cute. Botanical says the black one you would be able to write on. Okay, so that's implying you can't write on the reds. Hmm. Botanical says I guess a Sharpie would work. That's so cute. But even if I were to write on it, from the look of the photos in your Imgur album, it's not like you can actually see it. Oof, you can't see it. Okay, okay. Let's do a quick build. Let's see. Do I have any spare switches lying around? I always have so many Gateron Yellow. Let's just do Gateron Yellow. Botanical says, Mark Merlin, watch out when tightening M2 screws. The R1 case proto is fragile. Zark says, I just tested Sharpie on one. It's noticeable depending on the angle. Also just wrote on a PCB with a Sharpie. All right. Do Gateron Yellows. That's so many. It's so darn many. All right. And let's see. I'm going to need a stabilizer. Stabilizers, where are you? There. Let's, let's use some of my extra ones right here. There. Let's do this. These are R1 C3 stabs. They will have problems with EPBT keycaps, but I'm not putting in an EPBT keycap on this. I'm putting something else on. So let's see. Mm. Should I bother lubing this at all? <laughs> I feel like I should. Just to be extra, you know? <laughs> let's lube it. Let's lube it. My wife just yelled from the living room, be extra. I'm like, okay, guess I'm lubing it. Iron Lion says, yo, yo, thanks for joining in, man. Yeah, since Cozy's in the house, um, this coming weekend, this Saturday, I will be building the Romeo 40% board and I will also be doing a giveaway of the Romeo. So if you guys are interested in 40% and would like something to build during this coronavirus lockdown season, definitely tune in. KVS says, yo, what's up Merlin? What's up to you too?
tentacles is also due to the fragility of the board. I suggest putting the switch in the plate, then mounting PCB, and then soldering. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Play it a little bit more lube. Romeo is a beaut indeed. I will also be doing a reading of Romeo and Juliet before the stream. With um, myself playing Romeo, of course, and Cozy Fanatuti playing Juliet. I'm currently auditioning for um, other parts. <laughs> so if you're interested, please send me a Discord PM. <laughs> I didn't like about the round one c3s is the colors they came in were too bright um, I like just regular black stabs or white stabs so it's like you know I was kind of kind of worried that um, it, it wouldn't go well with boards so now with round two coming out or actually the group buys already ended they now have charcoal stabs and cream stabs which I bought quite a few of Olivia says she loves the film version with old English in the modern age. Oh, you're talking about the Leonardo DiCaprio one. Okay. Yeah, that's the first Romeo and Juliet that I ever watched. Okay. Where were the... I've watched that version and the Zeffirelli one. Okay. best we were actually talking last time I mentioned this that uh, in that film there was actually Leonardo DiCaprio didn't didn't get along well with them Claire Danes that's why they never made another v movie together despite you know despite the quote-unquote on-screen chemistry Because he had the hugest crush on Claire Danes at the time because of the movie. Ah, that's why you knew exactly who it was. Because I was like, it, it was Leonardo and what's the name of the girl? And you were like the first one there. You're like, oh, and Claire Danes. Drashna says the zombie one was the best. I have not watched the zombie one. You're going to have to tell me all about it. I'm assuming it's it's... It's in the same vein as Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. You guys would remember that movie? Cozy called out. Claire Danes. Warm Bodies. Oh yeah, Warm Bodies. I remember that one. But I don't think that's the Romeo and Juliet zombies, is it? R and Julie, oh my gosh. Is this on Netflix? 
Because I would totally watch this. Okay. There we go. That's the board. Um, I guess it goes like that. Where's the other half? Oh, here we go. Here's the other half. It goes like that. <laughs> All right, okay. So, you know, whenever you build a keyboard, you need to make sure that your keyboard works. So despite this being just, you know, one switch, we need to be absolutely sure that it works. I have no clue what this is programmed as, or if it's programmed at all. There's a hole above the reset button if you have the correct orientation. Ah, okay. I'll do that. So I just plugged the board in and nothing registered on the computer. Ah. Is it supposed to register anything? Here, let me just open up a browser here and try and trigger it. Nope, nothing's, nothing's coming out. Okay, well, I, I guess since you sent this to me to write QMK firmware on, there's really nothing on it. It is not coded. Okay, all right, all right. So I have no way of testing that it actually works in terms of keyboard tester and all that. Okay, well, we shall continue building it. We shall continue building it just for funsies. at those photos you sent and let's see from the photos that you sent it should totally be like that because that's where the hole is okay no problem. Man, it's like, I feel like this doesn't really match the photos. <laughs> I might be in trouble here. Let's see. Upside down. Okay. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. I see it. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. We got it. Rashna, you need to set up like a like a Plex server, but exclusively for QMK collaborators. <laughs> okay, let's solder this guy. I turn on the soldering iron. Where is my solder? MB server, it's better than Plex. We don't condone piracy, Mike Merlin. You wouldn't download a car. Walk the plank. <laughs>
You would download a car. <laughs> you download a keyboard. Wait until you can download cars. So what? Every time you um, wreck your car, you just have to re-download it. You wouldn't download a car. I feel like they've got that in the U.S. too, Zark. It's not just an Australian thing. Something similar in the US, yeah. The download everything here. Alright. Okay, let's put that. Wiki local motors. Because Botanical said that this board is fairly fragile, I'm actually gonna not use a screwdriver and just use my use my fingers. Finger tight. Porting the PDX macro pad is what I read. Yeah, that's that's done. That was the first part of the stream. And now it's turned into a build stream. And once I finished building this, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna put QMK on it. Put QMK and V on it. We're doing two keyboards tonight just because it's a one key, it's a one key keyboard, so it's not like it's gonna take me forever to program. But famous last words, you know? I could mess it up. Cozy says, thank you, Drachnad. But that took me back. I think I might actually have to pull up my screwdriver here. This feels really loose, just being finger tight. I think if you intend on, on like having people write on the PCD on the PCB, it would be cool if this was just just acrylic, like clear clear acrylic, so people could see all those messages. Just remember not to tighten it too hard. Yeah, I'm being uber careful here. Here we go, guys. There we go. 
smart, I might offer that as an option. Come Valentine's Day, like you could do like a, oh, send this to someone you love. And you could like personally write the messages on <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right. We have finished building the FM to you or the from me to you. Let's see, I need to find keycaps for it. Or, oh wait, I actually still have feet to put on. Let's put feet on. Let's see, where did he put the feet on from his photos? Nope, his photos don't say where the feet go. Oh well. Pork Chop Express says keycap, yes. Singular, just one. Just on the back corners. Okay, so the way that I have it right now, it looks like I've got two eyes and a heart-shaped mouth. <laughs> Put one crooked just to trigger chat. Jamie says, really, really love your streams. Would Via work on a pro micro board like a dactyl or other hand wire build? Yeah, absolutely. Though, um, I'm not sure if, well, Olivia, since you're here, what's your policy on hand wired boards? Specifically since hand wired boards are usually one offs. Okay, there we go. There it is. And let me see see if I can let me find a enter key somewhere. Here we go. Essay Olivia enter. Here we go. Oh wow, I can feel that flex right there. All right guys, I'm gonna pause the music for a bit so you guys can hear what the board sounds like. It's a sound test. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Olivia says, good choice for enter key. Yeah. Audio and video is out of sync for me, says Drashna. Really? I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Let's get QMK on this bad boy. Okay. Let's see. Let, let me set this up. Let's set this up. Um, downloaded too many cars.
Man, I'm drinking this way too fast. But it's so good. All right, that's it. <laughs> Let's get the music up and running again. All right, that is the last of my mead. Can you guys believe four of these were about 13 bucks? Definitely, I would buy it again. But maybe not as often, because that's too little alcohol for 13 bucks. All right, all right, let's let's get this in. Okay, let us make a directory for the botanical keyboards, QMK, botanical keyboards. Okay, and in that directory, let us create an FM2U. I should brew my own mead. I don't even know how to brew my like own alcohol. But that could be something to do. Botanical keyboard says, look ma, I'm famous. <laughs> awesome. Guys, I'm just setting up my working environment here real quick. We can start on it. Brewing is easy. It just requires a lot of time. Like the, like the closest thing that I'm doing with to brewing is homebrew on macOS. LD says, hi, how are you? I found your Mac Merlin channel here on Twitch. Well, thanks for joining in. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> LD has been timed out for 30 seconds. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. Spam bot. All right, I think I'm good here. Boom. Now have an now have an FM2 directory. Everything here is generated <coughs> using the new keyboard script, or as I found out earlier or last week, we now have a QMK command called QMK new keyboard. All right, let's say what's all here. Let's just change all of the vanilla cookie cutter stuff first before we do anything else. Read me. That's wrong. Make botanical keyboard slash FM2U default. Xenophobia says Mark Merlin. It's not merged yet. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't do much QMK like on like a command line, we have new tools, for example, and it, we, we call it QMK CLI. What's funny is that I, I have an alias called QMK, which basically just CDs into my QMK former directory. So that along with QMK CLI led, led to some trouble. So now my alias is QMK dir. Cause QMK on its own can now do all this stuff. Looks like you've got a clone command, setup, compile, config, flash, JSON to see, okay, J JSON file to see, list keyboards and list key maps. Let's see, let's just play around with this for a bit. QMK list keyboards. Ooh, that's a lot. Lots and lots of boards. Very nice. Chojin Love says, still making Gold Rush? Hopefully one of these days. Mtro time. Does this mean I could do this to my RK71 and YC96? Absolutely. All right. Let me just fix up more of these. Oh, my screen is really small for you guys. Let me just up the font there so you guys can see what I'm doing. Is that too big? Nah, that's not. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Hardware supported FM2U PCB. Hardware availability not currently available. Let's make it TBD. Looks good. What else do I need to change? 2020 looks good. Config. Yeah, let's do, let's change the manufacturer for myself <laughs> to uh, botanical keyboards like that. FM2U description, a one key macro pad. One by one. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think that's that's enough vanilla cookie cutter stuff that I can change out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, oh, here we go. This was a, what did I say this was? This was a 32U2. All right, let's do 32U2. Perfect. Okay. Oh, hold on, guys. Looks like my main camera just crapped out on me. Let me give it a break here. Let me, let me just give it a break here. It's not like I'm using it right now, so I'm just gonna turn it off for the time being. And hopefully when I need it, I can just turn it back on. And my screen will be good as new. Okay, anything else to change? Nah, we're good. We are good. Perfect. Excellent. All right, we're good. I've committed the initial commit. Perfect, okay. And I just realized something I didn't, I didn't actually trace the matrix, darn it. <laughs> Before I put, put before I put it together, I, I didn't trace the matrix. <laughs> well, since I have botanical keyboards on stream, maybe you could just tell me um, what pins on the microcontroller did you use? <laughs> since it's only one key, it should be fine, right? Right? Oof, I don't know, I had a friend do the wiring. All right, okay, looks like we are tracing this board. Okay, let me take it apart. <laughs> too, Mac Merlin, too lazy to do one key, indeed. I'm too lazy to do one key. Here, taking it apart right now. I'm still giving my camera a break. Denton says, is this some hacker shit? Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Not that I'm actually hacking anything at the moment. Here, let me turn on my camera. Come alive. Come alive. There it is. Okay, boom. All right. It has come alive. Okay. 
Denton Burden. What I am doing is I am putting firmware on this new keyboard from Bo Botanical Keyboards. So he has given me hardware in order to do this. Ah, shoots. Okay. Mm. Because I've because I've built it, I don't I can't actually just poke at it. I need to poke from one side and then trace on the other. Denton Burden says that would be sick. I see. Is it difficult? Um sort of, but I've been doing this for quite some time already, so it's for me it's not that difficult. Okay, where's my multimeter? Multimeter, where are you? Okay, so the most difficult part of this would actually be physical, because I need to poke from one side. Sh shoot, I totally should not have built it, because <laughs> now this is harder. Okay. Grr. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Here. Here. Okay. That's, that's actually fine. You can do that. Good. It's on. Gotcha. Gotcha. I just have to be able to poke you in the right... This, this will require some finesse. Can't I use one of the other PCBs right next to you? Says Greg. No, I cannot because this is literally the only PCB for the FM2U. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to have to desolder to do this. I know, I know that's one of the pins on the top, but which pin? Let's try and... Yeah, Botanical, if you could ask your friend what pins it's using, that would save me some time here. <laughs> not have enough enough dexterity to poke from one side let's try it like this okay Botanical says, what do I look for? Um, there should be a, if you're looking at the schematics, there should be a giant block, like a giant rectangular block. And there should be some pins there that are labeled. Or, or if you could just send me that schematic, I can read it really quick. 
It looks like it's the third one. Solder the multimeter to a switch pin. Mechanical says pin 26. It should be connected to two pins or one pin and a ground. Here. At Mega32U2. The pinout is, you said pin 26. Pin 26 is C4. What's the other pin? Should be ground. Yeah, if you want to send it to me on Discord real quick, I can just read it. Because this, this is going to be, it's going to take me a while. And I just... Here we go. So that I don't lose the screws. Just waiting on Discord from you. There we go. Sent. All right, let me read this. Open up that schematic. Okay. I'm not gonna show it on stream, just cause, you know. <laughs> All right, it looks like switch one, the one and only switch is connected to scroll in it was really tiny all right yeah you're correct pin 26 which is c4 excellent and the other side is connected to ground oh okay okay awesome perfect that is all i need to know c4 and ground excellent Wow, dude, you just used one pin on this microcontroller, <laughs> man. Okay. Let's see, so this means we are using the direct pins QMK feature. Perfect. Just interesting. Does VIA support direct pins? That I do not know, actually. Well, I guess we'll find out tonight, huh? Via shouldn't care. Let's see, what's a good board I can look at that does this? Ah. Huh. Let's do... Ooh, the six shooter from B Epiphany. That's a good one to refer to. Maybe look at the ISO. Oh, really? Okay. Who who made the the ISO? Oh, by Illuminati. Okay, Illuminati. Looking at Illuminati. Okay, Illuminati uses one row, one column, and no, the ISO actually uses two pins. So that is not a good example. Does it have direct pins option? No, it does not. Okay. It's not the ISO one. Okay, let's go back to B, B Epiphany. Where is he? B, B Epiphany. Olivia says, uh-oh. Yup. <laughs> uh-oh, indeed. 
It's a dummy row pin though. Which should work the same. Oh, okay, so it can just be any pin. Perfect. Let's see, how does the six shooter implement it? Ah, okay, there we go. Learn something new about Via tonight. All right. Let's just copy and paste that. What did I say it was? C4. C4, one by one. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> anything else? Anything else I need to do here for direct pins? Nothing in the config. How about in the rules? Drashna says sounds explosive. Do I need to configure anything else? No, I do not. Anything particular in the key map? Nothing particular in the key map either. Okay, looks like that's all you need to do to implement direct pins on a one one keyboard board that's a half k bootloader uh no this is a atmel dfu one okay let's see botanical keyboards let's see we're, we're gonna have to pick a vendor id and a product id for you let's since this is your first board let's just be Let's call it product ID one, but Venter ID, Botanical Keyboards, BK. BK, is BK taken? Is Burger King taken? Botanical wants 6969. You sure you want that? It'll be your vendor ID. Here, let's see, is 6969 taken? It is not taken. All right, that's what you want. Let's make your vendor ID 6969. It's not taken, I just checked. 6969, and is it taken within QMK? That is the next question. Yes, it is taken. It is taken <laughs> by someone we know very well. Cozy Fanatuti is 6969. <laughs> Cozy Fanatuti is 6969. And you also share... Oh, no, wait. It's your product ID. Your product ID is 6969, but your vendor ID is not. Okay, so you're all good. You're good. You're good, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Okay, so Cozy Fanatuti's product ID for his, which board was that? It was... The Mullet. Oh, I've never even heard of that. So you share the same product ID as the Scarlet Bandana, but what we're doing here is the vendor ID. So Botanical Keyboards, you you are good to do 6969 if if, if you're cool with that. Because basically how, how, how VIA detects your board is, it looks at your vendor ID and your product ID. Cause he forgot that he did the mullet. Mo most people would like to forget that they had a mullet. 
I can't think of anything better, so that's how that works. Alright, alright, okay, we're good, we're good. Let's just, let's just leave it like that for now. Okay, perfect. Now for your default key map, let's take out all of this stuff. Just makes it more complicated. Let's take out all this, all this. All this crud, all this crud. And we will just call, we will have one key in it. It'll be B for now. <laughs> B. Cozy says, fun fact, my GitHub photo is a real picture of me with an ins No, okay, I, I need to look you up now. Totally need to look you up now. Totally need to look you up now. Okay, what's 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 your GitHub name? Is it just Cozy Fanatuti? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm I'm doxing Cozy, but since it's publicly available, oh, you look so cute. <laughs> is that really you, Cozy? You and your mullet. <laughs> Did I ever have a mullet? No, I did not. <laughs> My wife laughs. That is really me. Really? Is that really you? You should like... Okay. Cozy, I, I, I know that I'm going... That I'm going on like a tangent here. But if you ever design like a 100% PCV... For the silk screen, you should you should have this on as the silk screen. <laughs> All that white space. Zinazina <laughs> Fabi says yes. Okay, cozy, you need to do it for your for your hundred percent board. The silk screen needs to be this needs to be this like I you already have a footprint for it like it doesn't even need to be the whole photo but at least your face with the mullet <laughs> I would buy that I would buy that in a heartbeat it doesn't matter how many how, how many diodes I need to solder I, I, I would still buy it <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We we need to get back to this. We need to get back to this. This botanical keyboard is paying me a million dollars to do this. Darshna says Merlin would just for the memes. There hasn't been that many meme meme PCBs since the dank. <laughs> I know, right? Very few meme PCBs. Yeah, it 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 was the dank. Let's see, anything I have to do for rules? Boot magic enable. I should totally enable boot magic on this. Let's do light. Um, yeah, backlight enable, RGB light enable. Yep, yeah, 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 that's all good. Yeah, let's see if I can actually compile it. FM2U default? Wait, botanical keyboard slash, there we go. Ah, of course, of course there's an error. What am I, oh, layout undeclared, of course. Of course. <laughs> Cause I didn't do this yet. <laughs> totally did not do this yet. Okay, yeah, let's just do this. Completely forgot to do this part. Okay, that should be good. Wait, what, what, what am I doing here? Okay, wh what's what's what I'm talking about here? Speaking of which, have you seen the the contra soldering horror? 
No, show me. Oh my god. Oh, this one. Yes. I remember this one. Can't remember if Kibayo's backward 60 was an April Fool's joke, but I want it. You repressed the memory until now. Of course you did. There we go. We're compiling. We we compiling, boys. And girl, since Olivia is on. Okay, okay. So before I do the via portion, I'm actually just gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and flash this board. Let's, let's do this. I'm plug it in. The contra ended on ended up on Mac Market. All right. It's plugged in. And I'm gonna need to poke at that reset button, huh? Oh, I can't even see the reset button because of the keycap. Here we go. Here we go. Poke the reset button. Flash the board. Make botanical keyboard slash FM2U colon default. Let's spell default correctly. Colon flash, and if all goes well, it's flashing. Boom, it flashed, and a new keyboard has been detected. Awesome, very nice. And I flashed it with the key map, well, with, with the key code B. So let's just, let's just test the board here. Let's test the board here, guys. Will this work? Will this show up as B? B for botanical. Woo! It works! It works! Alright guys, I'm gonna rebuild the board, or I'm gonna put the back plate back on. Now that I have, I have firmware working on it. <laughs> Botanical says typing test. I'd love to do a typing test. Is there a Morse code QMK function? I swear I've seen a PR for one. I'm gonna see my RPM. That really should be added. Morse code. I know there's a, if you have an OLED, you can have a WPM for, function as well. All right, for hid listen. Botanical kudos on having magnetic screws. I really appreciate it because I have encountered several keyboards quite recently that did not have magnetic screws. All right, here we go. That's it. Perfect, okay. Let's get via on this. Let's get via on this, guys. Let's see. We're just gonna copy the default form key map over. Let's rename it as via. Right. Via. We don't need config. I guess we can argue that we don't need config in the default key map either, nor do we need the readme. Readme is not needed. Readme is not needed. But we do want a rules.mk. Okay. Let's say, let's do this. Happened there. Okay, 
So if you guys want to add a board into VIA, you need to make sure that your VIA key map actually has four layers. If you don't have four layers, then VIA will actually populate the layers that you did not define with garbage values. And you don't really want that. You can, however, limit the number of layers your board has, especially if your firmware size is too big. But since this is literally a one key board, that is not something we need to worry about. Um, sure, let's make every key B for now. How am I going to do layers? Is that I'll put a random message when you hit it? Because that's a genius. <laughs> All right, okay, there we good there. Then for rules.mk, to get this to be supported in VIA, all you need to do is do VIA underscore enable equals yes. And just for completion credit, you want LTO enable equals yes. What LTO does is it stands for link time optimization. Your compiled firmware will result, well, your compilation will result in a smaller firmware size that can flash onto the board. But as I said earlier, it doesn't really matter on a board of this size. It's literally just one key. But, all right. Okay, you know what? We could just, just make these all trans. Since this is for for VIA, it doesn't really matter what the key map is as long as it's you know, sane. Let's see. Mm, I do want it to be, to at least be like, tap for a key and then hold for a layer. So let's, let's at least do that. Okay. And let's make a layer. <laughs> I just thought about this. Okay. So if I, if I want to put reset on layer one, how the hell am I going to press it if I'm holding a, f a function key on layer zero? <laughs> I'm going to have to do like multi-tapping of, of like some sort here. Okay, because of that, I'm just going to leave it as is. Like so. Okay, and we are going to reflash the board. I'm going to reflash the board with the via key map. XSV says, I heard one up HSC works with VIA, but your key isn't getting recognized. You need to flash a VIA enabled firmware in order for VIA to, to detect it. Those boards don't come with VIA through the factory. Keyboards, FM2U, via, flash. There you go, flashing the keyboard with the via firmware. And looks like I have some errors. They're not, what? What happened here? There are not enough available endpoints to support all functions. Please disable one or more of the following. Mouse keys, extra keys, console. Okay. That's that's interesting. Sure, let's go disable them. <laughs> okay. Let's disable console. Console and extra key. That's probably a good one. Oh, console and command, I mean. No, disable mouse keys. Sure, let's just disable mouse keys then. Why is MIDI there? Should I disable MIDI as well? Let's let's, let's disable MIDI. 
Oh, MIDI enable is already no, so that's fine. Let's run that command again. It looks like it worked that. Oh, nope. I spoke too soon. Okay. Please disable one or more of the following mouse keys. Disable it globally. But this is, this should only be, this should only be for the via key map, right? We don't care about default because default works. Oh, hold on. I do not want to flash it quite yet. Actually, I do. I do. How can I use one keys? Well, mouse keys on a one key keyboard. <laughs> Disable more. Okay. 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 Mouse keys. Anything else? Okay. Sure. We, we can disable mouse keys globally. Config.h has stuff to disable too. Does it? Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. He's really disabling mouse key now. Can take that out. Take all that out. All that out. Oh, bootloader not found. There we go. And since I disabled mouse keys globally, I can just take that out here. Oh, Lux, I already added it twice, apparently. Okay. What else? Yeah. Th that should be fine. We'll leave it like that. Okay. Let's get to the VIA side of things. Oh, looks like my camera dead again. It's been a little hotter here in Seattle lately. Okay. Let's see. You guys get to watch my face here because my webcam is still working fine. Just that my main cam is succumbing to the heat. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Let me bring back. Okay. And this was actually a to you, if I'm not mistaken, to you. There we go. Um, I guess we can color this in as an accent. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my word. There's nothing else to, to like add to this. <laughs> Make an ISO. <laughs> there is no ISO option on the board, though. This is literally only an ANSI board. 
the perfect cube for any minimalist. See, look, there, there's really no other option here. And that's it. Zark says, what configurables are you going to allow for Mac Merlin? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there's not, there's nothing else to really put on this. Here. Okay, let me just set up the Via side of things really quick here. Macmurl add layout options, but there's there's only one layout. <laughs> there's there's only one layout. There's nothing else I can do with this. Different game sizes. <laughs> what? Like one U, one U and two U. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right, all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll do it, okay. <laughs> Here, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. One you can be like an alpha. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> okay. You want a 2U? Is 2U considered a mod? Wow, this is such a meme. Okay, and if it's a mod, we have to call it, what, A-A-A-A? Oh my gosh. You think so? There's also 1.75. People just have to remove like the stabilizer on this. 1.75. <laughs> what else guys so we have one u two u 1.75 u <laughs> 1.5 u let's let's do 1.5 u actually hold on this is an order let me order it in the way that it's from large to small. Well, that was the 2U. We went from 2. Point... Oh, this is 2U already. So 2U is default, so 2.25, then 1.75, and then 1.5. Oh my gosh, this is turning into such a meme, guys. And then we want One point two five, and then one. There we go. Make them all vertically aligned and add decal blockers to make them the same bounding box. Oh, okay, okay, sure, we can do that. Make them all vertically. <laughs> wow, you guys, vertically aligned. There we go. I already two. 
There's no such thing as a 2.25, is there? So I can actually remove that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's do this as 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and 0, 4. Perfect. Wow. This is turning into like the most meme ish. Here. This one was just, what, 0 0.25? Wait, no. There, make it a decal. Decal. Let, let me do go down to 0 0.25. If it's just a decal. No, it won't. It won't let me do 0 0.25. Okay. How about this guy here. Try 0 0.12. Will that work? No, it needs to be greater than 0 0.5. So I can't do that. Modify the raw. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. There we go. Let's do the decal there. This one we can actually do as 0 0.5. Perfect. And this one, 0 Wait, no, that's not what I want. I just wanted one, okay? And I think I still need to label them, right? This one will be still zero, one. This one will still be zero, two, zero, three, and zero, four. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should I add a meme? Okay, so technically, if you don't put stabs, if you guys don't put stabs, if you guys don't put stabs on this, you could put a space bar on it. You could even put a 2.75. Yeah, you, you could put 2.75 on this, right? You totally could. Okay, let, let's just do that. Let's just do that. <laughs> Seven U option. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys got me started. You, you guys got me started. Look what you guys made me do. Okay. I'm gonna do seven U space bar. Seven U. Seven U, and then we're gonna do. There, let's do all that. Size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. So it's botanical, man. Okay. Width six point two five. Then we'll do six. Are we going too far, guys? And then 2.75. 2.75 is actually a, a mod. Two point seven five. There's no two point five, but there is a two point two five. There 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Is there three U? Really? Okay, I guess three U has to fit in here. This is 2.75. We're, we're only doing keycaps that you can actually get. Oh yeah, you're right. 3U, I think, was on... What what boards had 3U? Was it just split? Three U has a different stab, but with this board, you don't even need to put stabs on. <laughs> okay, am am I missing anything here? See, we got here. We got seven, six point two five, six, three, two point seven five, two point two five. 1.75, 1.5, 1.25, and 1. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna relabel all of this, I guess. Please align to center with decal. Align to center. Okay. Yeah, decals on both. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Wait, so didn't Wilbur say he wanted it to the left and Olivia wants it to the middle? You guys decide. <laughs> oh, this is... What are we doing for like a 1U keyboard? <laughs> oh my word. Okay, you're right. It, it, you, you are correct. It, it, it needs to be centered here. Look at that. Do that. It is centered. <laughs> My gosh, what are we creating here? What are we creating here? There. Looks good. Just have to do some math here. I'll add the decals in a bit. I'm not going to get this perfect. <laughs> Oh, I am out of alcohol. What what should I ever do? <laughs> okay. You But the thing is you can't can, can you actually put ISO enter on this? Here, let, let let me grab one just to verify that it I feel like it would be no, actually, yeah, sure, why not? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares if it does or not? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It would be rotated. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay. 90 degrees. That's okay, it's ISO. Wait, how do I rotate this? Is there a rotate button somewhere? Tools?
How do I rotate a key in Keyboard Layout Editor? Is that even doable? I don't think it is. Robo says no ISO. <laughs> he doesn't want ISO. <laughs> Why not? It would fit. <laughs> it's in the properties tab. Is it? Properties. This is dumb enough, thanks. It literally says rotation. Oh, properties, okay. Rotation, there it is. We, we must do ISO. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> How does this work? I can't even see it. <laughs> Where did it go? work holy crap what why, why isn't it rotating in in place holy crap <laughs> okay we're gonna set that back to zero and let's try let's try something else here how about this one Nothing's changing. Nothing's changing there. Okay. How about here? What does this do? That doesn't do anything either. Okay, in because that doesn't seem to be working, I'm going to opt for no ISO. No ISO. No ISO. We will we'll just go with this. Let's see if I can actually even. What is all this? Okay, let me take out all my pads first. It's confusing me. Oliver says boo. Well, you know, some someone can put it in. Oh God, does, does that look center aligned? Because I feel like that's... That's a 7U right there. And what, what was this? It's a 2U. You could put 3U on one side. Make it a decal. To you. There we go. Got another to you there. There we go. Three. Five, seven, great. All one can do is face palm at this point. <laughs> there we go, we padded them, so now it's kind of center. It's kind of center. Needs to be 2.5 on both sides. Should we? Sure, let's try, let's try. 2.5. Oh, I can't see the, I can't see it. Two point five. Okay, let's do that. Needs to add up to seven. There we go. Five and two is seven. Okay, that's good. Okay. Seven, 
then this one is a 6.2. We can't add shoots. We can't do a 0.5 on each. Like, cause, cause 0.5 is the smallest it can go. So maybe we just need to pad this up to a, to a nice even number. 8U, 8U would probably be better. Cause this won't let me put in any pad that's less than 0 0.5. Then make them decal at the end. Ah, okay. It's a good idea. Let's do that. you let's go in a bunch of those okay so decals yeah I think I think we do need to make this an eight so that it fits better so for for like any of you guys watching this right now or just joining in or watching this as a vod um, what we're doing right now has really nothing to do with how V should be done. We're just doing memes right now. So, um, this, this, this is not what you need to do <laughs> when you're trying to get Via to support your, your VOD. Like, we're just, we're just having fun here. May, maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> Took a side quest, indeed. Definitely too much fun. We we technically would have done pro we 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 could have been done probably well over an hour ago. But we just wanted to support as as many possible layouts as possible. <laughs> just gonna add the pads right there. Talisman says, Mr. Wizard, this is the, my first time here. I'm so confused how this makes my keyboard function. Well, <laughs> it, it it doesn't. <laughs> this doesn't even add any functionality to your board at all. I don't know why you guys convinced me to do this. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but why not? Why not? Here, I'm going to take out the decal here just so I can see things better. We're going to go with eight. This would be a three U. And a three U. For eight. And this guy was a seven U, so I can add... 0.5 on each side. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. 0.5 is the smallest. Olivia says these keys are supported by the keyboard. <laughs> Sure, sure they are. <laughs> My word. It's like I'm literally spending more time on this KLE than I am on the actual support of Via. But my god. 
This is gonna be an epic board. Okay, let's see, what do I need to do here? I need to subtract 0.5 from each side from the looks of it, I think. Zero point seven five. Nope, that's still a bit short. <laughs> Seriously, zero point eight. Do zero point eight. that do it 0 0.9 really we're not even regular keycap units now 8 minus key divided by 2 the zark okay see I can't even <laughs> Okay, I have to change the X. Wait, wait, how does this work? No. There we go, that's good. it'll be over by June. What are you guys talking about? Coronavirus? Okay, what, what's this? This is a 6U. So yeah, this actually works out. That's good. So what's this one? This one is a 3, so I need 2.5 on each side. Five on each side. What's this? Two point seven five. Eight minus two point seven five is five point two five. Five point two five divided by two. Oh my gosh! Really? I'm just gonna estimate. Cause we'll just let's keep it at two point five. Then I'm gonna have to change all of like the grid and all that. This is 2.25, 3. Kind of, kind of there. So this is 1.75, 8 minus 1.75 is 6.25. So no, that, this was the three. Yeah, that's fine. And this one is 1.75. So 8 minus 1.75 is 6.25. This one's also three. Three-ish. I feel like this would have been better if I had if I just aligned it to the right. <laughs> you know, 1.5, 8 minus 1.5 is 7. No, 6.5, 3.25. There we go. That's a more manageable one. 
You don't have to change the grid or anything. This one's this is 1.25. 6.75 is 3.25 on each side, roughly. Theremin says, do you use KLE for QMK's configurator? Yes, we do actually. these you can tell which ones are actually correct it goes one two three four all that Whew. zero four decal let's set the ones that are actually correct to be decals right now actually no wait hold on let me different options top login needs to be oh you're right you're right screw up screw up it's the group that I need to do start it like that one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I, I keep screwing this up. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, six, for those tuning in for the first time or watching this on the VOD, I would like to reiterate, this is not how you do VIA. This is how you do a meme. <laughs> Okay. All right. My God, what have I uh, well, what have I done here? <laughs> wow. This is how you make the best board. This is how I make the best board. My gosh. Okay. All right. We're just gonna make the rest of this decals. So you do, even though you're making them decals, you still need to actually put them as part of the group. Like you don't need to include the switch matrix that they're a part of. Wow, I am screwing up big time.
I've done the right thing. <laughs> My word. Okay, okay. We're good. Now let's make make all of these left decal for zero three. Ah, I see it. Thanks. Thank you. Let's make them all decals now. <laughs> oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So let's add you as an actual vendor because I fully expect you to become a vendor. Botanical keyboards. FM2U.json. And let's just... There's plenty more waiting to release. Oh my word, okay. I'll hold you to that. It's an FM2U. One key macro pad. Vendor ID was 6969. Okay, yeah, that is definitely, definitely meme status there. Lighting. None, matrix one and one. And this is where you wanna actually do the labels. The way I've done this, the very first one should be default to you. The next one is seven U. Six point two five U six U three U two point seven five U one point seven five U one point five U there's no underglow. There, there is no underglow on this board. 1.25U. And finally, 1U. Forgot 2.25? Yes, I did. Oh, did I forget that in the actual KLE as well? No, I did not. Perfect. 2.75. 2.75. 25U. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Let's download the raw code here. Download JSON. These aren't centered. I'll get it there, man. I just want to see what this looks like. Make sure to wrap the labels in another array. Really? Because these should just be toggleable. Oh, 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 wait. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It should actually be. There we go. That's it. That should do it. No, I'm um, Zark. So the issue is if I start having non 0.25u increments, what ends up happening is I also need to change like how much e each of the keys shift over. So that, that was just a little too much for me tonight. 
Need another left bracket. Ah, okay. Thanks. There we go. Let's just clean that up a little bit. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, I'm like... Holy crap. Source. Botanical keyboards. Will this work? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to hit configure. I'm going to plug in the board first. I'm going to plug in the board. I'm going to plug in the board. The plug in the board. Okay, the, the board's plugged in. So when I hit configure. <laughs> okay, here we go. Configure. Okay, let's move to the. <laughs> oh no. Here, let me move the screen a little bit so you guys can see. 7U. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Where was the ISO? We didn't do ISO because I couldn't get it to rotate properly. <laughs> uh, but the fault is to you. The fault is to you. Um. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys want ISO? All right. Let's do ISO. Let's do ISO. I'm so ashamed of you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is this is so retarded. Ooh, okay. Cozy Cozy has given me code. Or what is this? Raw. Let's see if I can highlight it properly. <laughs> PR not merged. <laughs> Wilpa Wilma doesn't want to merge the PR if it's going to have ISO. <laughs> Wilma, have you, did you see this? Look at this. Look, look, look what people made me do. <laughs> if you can get it working, <laughs> if I can get it working, okay. All right, challenge accepted. Let's see, Co Cozy sent me some stuff here. Let, let me actually try and copy and paste it properly. Cop, let me highlight. Botanical says, isn't, okay, so before I go around messing things up, I'm just gonna at least commit my code. I'm gonna commit, commit my code here. Uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this should totally be like examples of what not to do if you want to get, if you want to get your via stuff merged in. Okay, let's do this. Parse error on line 11, comma. Can this be the new, no, no, don't do this to me. Actually, hold on. Wait, that's 
not what I wanted. Unrecognized text? What? Did I copy that correctly? Oh wait, I forgot a... I forgot... Forgot the last bracket. Oh, it's not, it's not grabbing that last bracket. Okay. Is that correct? There we go. Okay, where'd the ISO key? <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, I'm not, I can't control it. Don't go away. I can't control it with my arrow keys. <laughs> Come back. Don't go off the screen. <laughs> Come back. Okay, so right arrow key makes it go up. Left arrow key only makes it go down to a certain point. Let's see. Up arrow key moves it to the left. Down arrow key moves it to the right. Yeah, it's not going down any further there. Oof. Oof. Okay, just just for kicks. Since we're since we're already there. We're already there. Let's um let's call it let's just see what happens. This can be group eleven. Go. Modify the first X. The first X. Is it from 0 0.25? Really? Let's move it down to 7.5. Wait, what did that do? Let's move it. 1.0 moves it, moves it up. So it needs to be a negative number then if I want to move it further down. Let's try negative 3.0. Negative, okay. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Negative 19, negative 15. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Now I can do... Whoa, what did that do? Holy crap. Bye bye botanical. Gotta go. Great stream. It's an honor to get my board into via. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to copy and paste that value again. And that first x is gonna be negative fifteen point two five. Let's move it sixteen. There we go. And I need to move it to the left here. That's, I think it's X2, right? <laughs> no, that's actually the shape of the key. So how do I move it? Need to add on top and bottom as well. Oh my gosh, decals. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. So just, just so we can test this out in via, I am going to add it as a group, like so. And we're going to call this.
I, d I just want to know if, if this works. My gosh. This is probably going to look really ugly. I so. there should call it I so bad okay here goes Let's see does this work oh I'm afraid to click it Oh God, <laughs> I'll keep it that. <laughs> wait, wait, I need to, I need to at least colorize it. Let's colorize it as what, 777? There we go. Okay, let's do it that. Oh wait, I can actually just do that in here. What do I do for the color? Here we go. Okay, let's load that up again. Oh, unexpected token. Did, what did I screw up here? Mm. I thought I just had to put it in there. You know what? I just figured out through here. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done tonight, guys? What 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 did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Golden <laughs> I so <laughs> I wonder if you can fix it with the decal, I'm not sure. Hmm. Just need to rename it now. Re rename it to what? It's almost as if Merlin has been drinking. I've only had one can of the mead, which I've already completely finished at this point. Man. <laughs> I should totally just screenshot this. So let's do screenshot. Oh, is Wilba still on? I think I'm gonna troll him. When I do the PR, I'm gonna give him like this elaborate backstory. <laughs> He was complaining about that earlier. I'll give him like some some um, copy pasta or something. <laughs> Watch my PR get denied.
Oh my gosh. PR closed. <laughs> Wilpa. Wow. <laughs> oh, Wil Wilva is online and he is watching. He's watching. <laughs> All right. Wow, it's already 1017 day. This might be one of my longest porting with ports ever. <laughs> it's not because I had trouble on it, just that I was trying to add all these stupid things. All right. I think we're we're at a good stopping point. And Trollius. <laughs> Trollius. Okay. Yeah. I I definitely had a lot of fun. <laughs> Mulva says I blame myself for suggesting layout options. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We have 11 possible layout options. <laughs> we pretty much cover every... Every possible key. Every possible key in a modern key set. Like, I know we didn't cover, like, the 10U from the wise boards, but this is... This is good. This is good, guys. I feel like we've... We've really contributed to the keyboard community with this. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I will... <laughs> I'll file this. I'll file this as a PR. Oh, what, what just happened there? Oh, did you guys see that? It just... Hold on, let me replug. What happened there? There we go. Detected it again. Okay. This is a historical moment. Historical moment here. Where, where is your key tester? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Highest ratio of layouts to keys ever. <laughs> so, Drashna, um, okay, let's see. Who are the collaborators online? Drashna and Zark. Should I do the same <laughs> with QFK Configurator? <laughs> Mcho, I picked B because B for botanical keyboards. Drashna and Zark, should I? <laughs> Drashna says, LOL, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do that, but maybe not tonight. <laughs> I think I've had enough memes for the day. <laughs> Go. Let's see. Test test the matrix. Key sounds. Design. <laughs> no rose is going to be so annoying. Yes! Yes! Okay. I'm totally gonna do it just to <laughs> just to annoy no roads. <laughs> Don't tell him. Um, no one, n no one let him know. But I'm, I, I'm going to tag him on the PR. I'm, I'm totally gonna do it. <laughs> no, he's online. <laughs> Dang it, he's online. He's watching. <laughs> he's like, actually, no. <laughs> Xenophobia, can I please do it? I just need to make sure it matches Via. <laughs> oh man, go for it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. It should be easier for QMK Configurator. It'd be totally easier because I don't need to pad it and figure things out. 
All right, guys, I know I've said it quite a few times. Here, let me turn my camera again. I've said it quite a few times, but this is not the way to do Via. This was just me messing around and catering to what people wanted me to do. <laughs> camera, turn on. Come on. Come on, camera. Turn on. There we go. There we go. So what I did tonight, just as a quick summary, added via support for the Portland Keyboard Club PDX KBC macro pad, and then built and programmed the Botanical Keyboards FM2U PCB, um, and had quite a lot of fun with it, actually. As you can see from what's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> Drashna says disagree. This is 100% the way to do via. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are watching this on, on a VOD or still watching live right now, yeah, uh, there are, there are other VOD, there, there are other via tutorials that I've done. Um, look at those. Don't look at this one. Do not look at this one. This one will just irritate you or, or make you laugh. Who knows? Who knows? All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me for the last, how long has it been? 7, 30, 8, 9, 10, 30, three hours. I think two hours of that was just doing this board. So yeah, thanks thanks for joining in. My, my next stream should be this coming Thursday. I will be playing some games. Figured I could use this time being shut indoors and play some games with you all. Gonna try to not do first-person shooters. Might have a surprise for all of you coming up. So tune in Thursday night, same time as today. You might see this guy make an appearance again. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for joining in. See you all later. Bye-bye.